Hello, my name is John Newstead. I'm a soil scientist here at Delta T Devices. And we're going to give a short video, short presentation on some installation techniques for Delta T Devices spot sensors. So you might be familiar with our um, range of sensors, particularly our SM150T sensor, which has a, a red um, label on it. Today I'm going to be demonstrating with a WET150 sensor. This is our new sensor. It is a multi-parameter sensor measure soil moisture, soil EC, and soil temperature. So the first thing we're going to do, I've already decided where I want to put my sensors in the soil profile. I've already installed two, as you can see in this picture, in this profile. So I'm now just going to mark out where I want to dig. So I just want to get my sensor in there. Now the reason why I'm digging away in the soil, in the soil profile is because I don't want to push my sensor in and have pins exposed because what we're actually measuring is an average of the signal along this whole pin length. So it's very important that you insert the whole pin into the soil profile. If you only push this sensor in halfway and you have half the pin exposed, you are measuring air. Air has a very low permittivity and in the calibration that will bring your, sense, your readings uh, of water content right down. It's very important that you fully insert your pins. Secondly, you want to try and recess your sensor into the profile as I've done here, because if you don't, just the weight of your sensor could pivot and the sensor could pull out of your soil profile. And also the pivoting sense, the pins, creates air gaps, voids in your profile where you're trying to measure. And once again, air has a very low permittivity and that could bring your readings down. So not very good. So you want to insert the soil moisture sensor into your profile and that gives it some security. Furthermore, when you attach a cable to it, as here, the cable alone can also help pull the sensor out. So make sure your sensor is properly inserted into undisturbed material in your soil profile. So we're now going to continue. I've just got some old knives and chisels here to chisel out a little hole. Here we are, we're just chiseling out, carving out a small hole to recess our sensor in, to give it some security. And we just gently push that in. The, scent, the pins are now securely in undisturbed soil material. And as you can clearly see, there's no wobble on that sensor. Now the WET150 sensor is an SDI 12 sensor. And this means it's a digital sensor. And what I'm doing here is just connecting up some cables. There we go. Need to make sure it's done up nice and tightly. So you've got a nice proper seal. All the connectors are IP68, so they're all waterproof. So now we've got three sensors installed. We put the cables on. It's very important for us to be able to identify which cable goes to which sensor. So don't forget, in this case, I've used some color tape. I've got yellow on this end. And you can see I've got yellow on this end. So you can see here, we've got three sensors. They've been recessed into the sidewall of this profile. The pins are well and truly in undisturbed soil material, which is what we want. The pins are not exposed. The sensors are not wobbly. The weight of the cable is not pulling the sensor down and out of the profile. So that's three well-installed soil moisture sensors. Now what I need to do, because this is SDI 12, is to connect these cables via T pieces to the single SDI 12 line going back to the GP2 logger. And I shall tidy these cables up, probably tie them together so that they're all nice and neat. So it's important to remember that I tested these sensors before I brought them out here to put in the soil profile, so I know these are all working. And once I've connected up this SDI 12 network to the data logger, I shall test they're all working again. And then, and only then, will I backfill this pit. Nothing worse than uh, backfilling your pit and then realising you've uh, done something wrong. Okay, so test your sensors. If they're all working, great, go for it. 